What's up everybody this is Skytech Freak and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial and a first impressions ROM review of Cyanogen Mod 11 on the LG Optimus 1. So let's get started. If you guys remember I left off at the LG Optimus 1 having ice cream sandwich that was the last video I made for the LG Optimus 1 and I know I've kind of been off the LG Optimus 1 since I've gotten all these new phones so I've been sort of my focus has been diverted but you guys I started off with the LG Optimus 1 and I think I should continue giving it support so this is a tutorial on how to get KitKat on your LG Optimus 1 and if you guys remember this is Clockwork Mod Recovery which I've already uh, given a tutorial on how to install on one of the previous on in one of my previous videos on the LG Optimus 1 and this of course should be running new baseband and I have a video separately for that also since it's quite a confusing thing anyway so assuming you guys have new baseband you guys have clockwork mod recovery 5 version 5.0.2.7 so I'm just gonna walk you through the tutorial on how to install on how to install uh, Cyanogen Mod 11 on this phone that's KitKat Android KitKat so first of all you need to wipe everything as usual so wipe the data factory reset that's right delete all data all user data then we go down to cache partition wipe that too and we go down to advanced just gonna keep that down there advanced we go down to wipe dalvik cache down here there we go and wipe battery stats that's the last thing we need to wipe let me just put this charger cable on I don't think this has much juice left in it just give me a sec there we go and after that now there are uh, two files that I'll put in the description. I'll put the link in the description. You need to download those two files. One is of course the ROM and the other is the new recovery. So if you're running this, uh, if you're running a version 5 recovery of Clockwork Mod, of Clockwork Mod, you need to go, uh, you need to update and flash this new recovery. So we'll just go to install, update, install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card. And I've saved it in this folder called CM11. So first of all, you need to flash the Cyanogen mod recovery so I'm just gonna do that install this recovery and give it a second we wait and the install is complete so we go back and we'll re reboot the system now and hold the buttons that we need to hold for the recovery That's power up, power down in the home button. Let's see if that boots the recovery for us. And we have, as you can see now, we have the latest 6.0.4.6. Let me just try to focus that. Yeah, 6.0.4.6. I'm sorry if the screen went blank. I was just trying to hold the right buttons. I didn't realize that I was holding the camera also. So if you guys didn't see that, what uh, all I did was re uh, flash the recovery, then I rebooted the system and held power up, power down in the home button, and we now have the latest Clockwork mod based recovery. So now that we've uh, wiped everything and now we have the latest recovery, again we have to go to install zip, choose zip from SD card, and now again I'm going to go down to that CM11 folder where we have the second file, the second file being the ROM itself and I told you I'll give you a link in my description on where to download these so we just click on this, yes install okay so in this new recovery that doesn't seem to be those 20 options of no and then that one option of yes and then a few other 10 options of uh, no it just seems to be one no and one yes so I think that's a much better system I think they did that so that you didn't press yes by mistake for something but um, I think anybody that's using Clockwork Mod is actually quite careful about what they're doing anyways so we have to just do this alright so now we have you're about to flash KitKat 
4.4.2 by Mukul Sony version 9 LG Optimus 1 next terms of use yes I agree with the terms of use and so now I go yeah all right you guys can just pause in the video if you really want to read any of this stuff install without wiping my partition wipe my partition clean okay let's wipe partition clean for this ROM let's see what is this select an SD X script that you want to install which one do I want to install increase internal data storage with SDXD all right let's increase my internal data storage that makes sense it sounds cool yes I do want all these one more thing I forgot to mention is that this is uh, this is a really cool ROM that Mughal Sony has created and all credit goes to him and you don't even need Google Apps I think he's managed to fit everything right in there you don't even need Google Apps it's all in bid so there's just that one ROM and this recovery that you need to flash this is really great so select enhancements you want to install default Cyanogenmon music enhancer great improvements in bar by great improvements in bass greatly enhance your audio entertainment and awesome audio quality enhancement so I'm just gonna go to the default CM music enhancer I think that should be good enough select the music player you want to install I think official Google music I don't I'm not really fond of Apollo I know that's what Cyanogen mod uses but I'm gonna go with Google music and uh, okay so if you want to install any of the following fonts you can do that in Hindi I'm Indian so I'm gonna go with Hindi I don't know about Thai let's just go it's just a plus I don't think that'll take too much storage anyways so yeah and Mughal Sony is also an Indian so go India this is this phone is quite popular back here so that's pretty cool that he's managing to do all this and now I think we're in the process of installing this ROM again if you guys want to see this is really my LG Optimus 1 and I've got this like seriously badass case for it now it's, it's get, gone pretty fat because of that but I mean it's really safe now I mean I could usually like throw this around like a Nokia phone and I don't think anything will happen to it not that I've tried I mean don't take my word for that but still anyway so this is telling you what all is happening right now so yeah I've been away from the LG Optimus 1 a while because you know I was dealing first with my Xiaomi Mi2 and I just did an unboxing of the Moto G all very exciting but I should have done a few videos of the LG Optimus 1 and that's what I think I'm going to be doing right now so if there's any video you want me to do or uh, you want me to do of Xiaomi Mi2 or the Moto G any custom ROM even the Asus Transformer pad the first one so I mean you've seen my video of that if you have and uh, if you'd like me to do any video of that a custom ROM maybe KitKat on the Asus Transformer pad or KitKat on Xiaomi Mi2 I'm actually running Cyanogen Mod 11 already on uh, my Xiaomi Mi2 you can see that this is KitKat I'm not using MIUI anymore so I'll just show you the settings quickly so you guys can be sure and then if you really want me to I can do a review of that as you can see it's Android version 4.2.2 that's Android KitKat and another really cool thing that Cyanogen Mod has decided to do now is if you go down to it in Cyanogen Mod version you click on that and they seem to have the same kind of thing so you can just go on that and you can see Cyanogen Mod 11 anyway so this is a different phone I mean I don't I don't want to digress let's get back to the phone it's just that it's gonna take a while to install so I was just gonna show you around so this is what Cyanogen Mod is like I mean these are the settings in Cyanogen Mod if it's this if it's the same in the LG Optimus 1 so you know just a little run through of everything this is the pull down in KitKat I'm just gonna go there these are drop down notifications and everything another cool feature in KitKat is if you pull it down from this side it opens your notifications if you pull it down from the right side it opens up your tiles so that's that's like a really cool feature that KitKat offers and there are a lot of other inbuilt things the blue color theme has sort of been phased out it's become more grey the keyboard most things but there is still a little bit of blue here and there as you can see the toggles are blue if you hold it to power off it asks you when you go reboot it'll ask you in this blue font but otherwise they're kind of phasing it out maybe in the next two three updates it'll kind of go completely but right now in android 4.4.2 for android 
the official Android and Cyan Origin mod, the blue theme is still around, but it's become quite grey, like the keyboard and everything has kind of changed. Okay, so we have KitKat 4.4.2 by Mukul Sony, XDA successfully installed, reboot and taste the KitKat, yummy, okay, let's go eat that KitKat. Please do not flash anything now. Reboot the device. Every donation to support my work is greatly appreciated. Yeah, sure. If you if you guys really, uh, if you guys really appreciate what Mukul Sony is doing, I mean, please do go ahead and you know donate something to him. If you can, I mean, whatever you can do. Mukul Sony, the guys that has brought you um, Android 4.4.2, Cyanogen Mod 11, to LG Optimus One. So let's reboot this now, and. Let's see what we have. Again, my LG Optimus One with this AMZA case. That's pretty thick. You can see. And we have Cyanogen Mod boot animation in five, four, three, two. Damn it! One. There we go. Okay, so this isn't the Cyanogen Mod boot animation. I would have expected it to be that because on my MIUI the boot animation is of Cyanogen Mod but I guess this is the official boot animation of KitKat or whatever so let's see. Again uh, one thing I wanted to tell you I just got my Moto G and I'm so impressed by the Motorola boot animation it's like crazy I mean it's really beautiful I mean I haven't seen a better boot animation from a stock device ever before I mean forget a stock device I mean any device it's it's, it's really eye-catching the boot animation on the Moto G I guess it's the same for the Moto X and uh, one thing that's really interesting about the Moto G and the Moto X is it turns out I read this somewhere that with holidays and seasons they can change your boot animation I mean how crazy is that so with updates or whatever they can change your boot animation I think it's something called active display or something or that might be something else I'm sorry I I, I don't really know but they can change your boot animation with updates and things. I think that's that's really quite amazing. I'm I'm actually taking this video with my Moto G right now. So yeah, this will be a test on how the video quality is. I took the earlier video of my unboxing of the Moto G with my M M I two. So I'm just rotating phones around, seeing what's happening. Anyways, this is the first boot. It's always a bit longer. Another thing that was written on Mukul Sony's website for this ROM was that um, and actually there was a button saying sex and it said show all content and then I clicked on it and it said you know that he, Mukul Sony decided that people don't really read some stuff because they get bored and he thought he put something eye catching and that definitely caught my eye. Anyways so what was written there was that if you don't have a sim card put in your phone it will slow down so you have to either put it on airplane mode or put a sim inside it for it to be at a decent speed but I don't have a sim in this and I will want to log into my google account and everything as soon as this thing boots up so um yeah so what I was saying is that I don't know how slow it will be maybe that will be a test for you people and if it's really slow maybe I'll even put my sim in this and see how fast it goes or I'll put it to airplane mode just to kill the lag but I don't think the lag should be too bad he said though that if your phone is lagging then uh, put a sim in it or put it in airplane mode. So let's see. And this Cyanogen mod for such an old phone so I'm, I bet there's bugs here and there. So let's see. I mean I'm waiting for this goddamn boot animation for a while now. I think it's hung. Is it a boot loop? Mukul Sony? What's happening? Hmm. Oh, hurry up, LG. Anyways, um, since that's happening, I thought I'll just give you a quick look around Cyanogen mod on this, so that we don't have to waste too much time on that. So this is the this is not the Cyanogen mod launcher. This is actually uh the Google Play launcher, the official Google launcher. There's a way to download that. So if you guys want to know, it's available online. If you guys want to know, just give me, write a comment and I'll tell you how to do that. This is the Asus Task Manager, which I found really cool since it's from the Transformer pad. So I kind of figured a way how to do that. If you want to know how to do this on any phone, again, you can just let me know. That's a one-click clean and then it kills all your apps. And up here is the feature you can throw all these away. Again, like I was saying, the gray uh, theme 
this used to be blue now it's gray everything all this used to be um, blue now it's sort of a grayish white and I think that's pretty cool too it's a change I kind of preferred the blue theme myself I kind of uh, preferred that more but this change is it's it's a welcome change from the from ice cream sandwich to jelly bean we've just been having the same sort of blue color theme so let's see anyways I think this is kind of stuck in a boot loop so if uh, I manage to get this to work anytime soon I'll let you guys know I'll do a separate rev I'll do a separate video of this review but if it's a boot loop then I guess I'm just not gonna show this video at all but if a video comes out of this and then a review you guys can expect that just to be a really 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 long first boot I mean I wasted five minutes talking about things that are completely unrelated to the phone so anyway so if I do make a, another video of the review then that means that this obviously worked so I'm just gonna shut this video now and hope and pray that this works anyways thanks for watching guys if there's anything else you guys want any other video maybe even a game review or something i mean i have some pretty good phones that can uh if you want to see some gameplay of some game or anything just anything to do with these phones or my transformer pad or anything just let me know i'm all eyes and ears